guys today i want to show you some vibes i'm hooking up the red cat marksman tc8 with some upgrades we're going to be putting headlights tail lights aluminum rims we're using the same original tire and we're going to put some gold wheel extenders to have those rims fit on the marksman so i'm going to show you how we're getting that done so guys got some lights from amazon and uh, we're going to put that on the marksman so i'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like just thought i put some cool headlights on the marksman all right, let's get inside this package, get this light out, see how it goes. So it's pretty simple, easy to use. Just plug this in channel number four. And there goes your lights. I'm going to show you the functions, how it's going. And I'm going to actually show you how we doing all the modification to get the light to fit. So let's get busy. Guys, let me show you some vibes here. This piece of plastic is a piece of plastic what holding the original lights. As you notice, I cut one of the side off already. And I'm just removing that screw here so I can cut the other side off so we can get the lights to fit. Check this out, guys. This little piece of plastic that you're seeing right here that I'm showing you, I need to cut that off to make space for the new lights. This little piece of plastic is where the screw was screwing in for the original lights but the new lights we don't have any screw so we're gonna have to cut that off so now we're using the body reamer to widen up the hole so the lights can get inside the piece of plastic but the body reamer is too small so i have to use the hot iron to open up the hole wider now we can get the lights inside the hole and let me show you what it looked like we're gonna have to put hot glue in the back of it to seal it we're upgrading the wheels but we're using the same tires so we're gonna take off the plastic bead lock on the tires on the original and we're gonna put in this aluminum bead lock rims. So let me take this out of the case and show you what's going on. All right, let me show you how this wheel's set up. Now we got five screws at the back here to remove and that would take the three pieces off. I really like the design of this rim. I like the cutout, you know, feels real nice, guys. All right, so let's take out all the screws and show you how it goes. All right, so let me show you how it come apart. Just like that, guys. This is the front. This is the back of it. And here goes the middle. So pretty simple to deal with. Now we're going to go ahead and take off the plastic rims on the tires and show you how we put this together. Let's get this going. Guys, let's remove the rim inside the tire. Pretty simple. I'm going to flip this over and just pull this out. Just like that guys, now we got the piece in the middle and we got to remove. That's it. So this is what your pieces look like, plastic rim, so the tire now ready to put the aluminum rim inside of the tire. The foam inside the tire is very, very foam guys. Alright, so the metal piece is sitting on pretty easy there. And now we're going to put this piece inside, just like that. And this piece, which is the face of the rim, comes at the bottom here like so. And then we're just going to get the first screw locked in. That's it. Pretty simple, guys. Trust me. No headache to get this rim inside it. None at all. See the screws are locking up pretty easy. Got no problem locking them up. Right, there goes your wheels and tire guys pretty cool guys check this out what do you think the aluminum rim is a real good upgrade over the plastic rim tell me what you think check this out guys i'm gonna take out some of this rubber on this tire to make it crawl better on rocks so what i'm doing i'm taking out one and i'm leaving one taking out one and leaving one doing the same thing on the side here removing one leaving one removing one leaving one so i'm opening up the space so we can get better traction on the rocks so i'm going to show you how it goes so here we already moved this one this two right here i'm going to move that one here very simple to do guys and all that does is just give you better performance with the tire you know and gonna take this one off here so i notice on the rocks a lot of times we sleep in certain places so i thought to myself you know what this tire is good i like it it is performing well but it could do better so i thought of it and i said you know let me just take off some of the grip because i really want it to perform better on the rock so i'm just opening up spaces because i noticed the side wall is gripping real good which is here and the middle is not gripping so good so i thought to myself this will be a perfect you know modification to do to get better traction with the tire so very simple vibes i'm leaving you know doing every other one so i do this one i leave that one i do this one when i'm gonna leave this one and i'm moving on to that one
Let me just show you this one. I already did that one. So you see, I take off one in the middle, I take off one on the other side. I keep skipping. And this is the original, what the tire look like. And this is what I already do here. All right, so I'm gonna continue to remove all the pieces and I'll show you when I finished. All right, guys, check it out. All four tires look exactly the same. So I think it's a cool modification, you know, it's gonna help on the rocks to grip the rocks better and pull the truck up much better, you know? So if you're gonna take the challenge, don't afraid to do it. I think you're worth the while. Guys, we're putting on some tail lights on the Marksman and this tail light here is from Traxxas for the TRX6, so. Pretty easy and simple to do, you know. So I'm gonna show you what I did to get the cutout. So if you're thinking about doing something like this, you can do it yourself. Guys, this is what I did. I cut this piece of plastic off. I take this piece right here and I measure it. And I take that piece of plastic and I measure it like so, just like that. Because you see you have that groove around here. I decide to cut the piece of plastic just that length around. And what I did, if you notice the piece would come off, just the same size with the piece of plastic. So I'm gonna show you how I'm doing the other one. So this is my template, and I'm just gonna show you what's going on here. All right, guys, let's do this. Let me show you how it goes. So I take my template and I line it up right here. And I'm gonna mark right where I'm cutting this. So just like that, guys, you just trace it around and then we're gonna cut it off. So now guys, as I marked it out all the way down here, I marked it out. I'm just going to poke a hole in the middle so I can get my um, scissors in this so I can cut this off. Hold this like so and just create a hole. Alright, so my scissors should get in there now so I can cut that off. All right, guys, check it out. The reverse light is at the bottom. All right, check this out. Simple like that, then you got tail lights. So now I'm gonna put a bulb in there so you can see. Check this out, guys. So I want to show you some vibes here. I'm trying to get these wheels to work on the Marksman and I need some wheel extenders. So I have this gold wheel extender and in the front, see that little groove right here? You could fit in the back, perfect, but not at the front. So I have to grind down that little groove. So I'm going to use a Dremel and grind down that little loop right there. And we're going to get it to work in the front. I will show you how I get that. Check this out. I get the front wheel up on the Marksman. Now, this front wheel wasn't easy to go up like that because that rim, you know, the hub in that rim is very, very, very shallow. So we had us to use this wheel spacer. And to get that in front there, I had us to take off this slip right here, grind it off. Back here, it is working perfect. We don't need to do much there more than to grind down the little grub screw because it's too big which is this little screw here we need to grind the edge down so you can fit so i'm going to show you the process how i get this wheel up there we have the other side to do so i'm going to show you how to do this side let me just give you a quick explanation here we have to take this off and there's a little pin in there very small and um, the pin is that small so we need to get a bigger grub screw in there so i'm going to show you how all this is getting done so let's get busy on this one here you can see that this piece of metal is going to go in the hole very easy to hold the grub screw but the grub screw is a little bit bigger there goes your little grub screw it cannot fit in this hole right here it is too big so i have to grind down you don't want to go into this hole so i'll have to grind that down to make it fit the one that fits in this hole is that little guy here this will go in there pretty easy see so it's pretty small and the one that we're gonna put there how big it is you see one is thicker than one all right so that's it we're gonna grind this down so let me show you how i'm doing this i'm gonna be taking off this little leap right here and grind it off so we're gonna do some time lapse and continue all right 
guys this is what it looks like i grind it down somewhat so now we're gonna grind on the screw so you can fit inside the hole so i have this little piece of shrink wrap that i'm gonna put over the treads so the vice grip don't damage it all right so now we could start grinding Let me show you what I did here. You see these two little screws, the one at the back here, this one is the original screw. This one, I grind it down so it can fit inside of the hole on the shaft because you have to go through this hole and go through the shaft, but the one on the shaft is much smaller. So I also grind this one down. And this one here, if you notice, it got no lip around it. I grind this down for the front. These two at the back can fit just so. The only issue that I come across is that the original screw is too broad or too thick to go in the hole. So I had to grind them to this one here. And this one, I had to remove that leap here so I can fit it in the front. All right, so let me put it up on the vehicle and show you how it look. And there you go. You can go in there now and now I can screw it in. So the job is well done with this one. Now I have how much two more of this to grind now and then we can put these rims on. So if you're gonna use rims like this, and you buy an extension. Buy the extension without the groove or the lip, which is this one here. Make sure you get two with the lip for the back, like this, and two without the lip for the front. But if you do get all four with the lip, you would have to shave down to this one for the front. So this is a modification that I'm doing to get those green rims to work on the maximum. Guys, so let's hook this up. Let's put the grub screw and get this in there. It's not too difficult to, um, to do, you know, just a little bit of patience to grind down the piece of metal. And once you grind that down, you're good to go. So you can get the grub screw to fit there. You know? So I'm just trying to get it nice and snug. All right, so the screw feel nice and snug there. So we're good to go there. So now these are the pieces here that you're gonna be using to tighten up the rim on the wheel. So let me show you how you put the washer first. You put this, you get a flat side and this curved side. So flat side going on the rim, rim goes up just like that. And we put this right there and simple like that, guys. This is how you get this green rim up on the maximum, but you got to do that little modification to get that in there. That's it. Okay, so I want to show the little technique that I'm using to grind on this screw. So for me not to damage the head, I'm putting a piece of shrink wrap right over here. And then I'm going to take the vice grip and grip it down. There we go. I grip it down with the vice grip so I can get to grind it. Let's get grinding. So you see guys, how I'm doing this. This is a wet rug that I'm using to keep all the, you know, file particles, all the pieces of shavings right here, you know, so they don't fly all about the place. If you use like a piece of tissue paper, you're gonna see it all over and stuff. So I wet this cloth and all the shavings will stay here. It wouldn't go flying about, you know? So I just keep rounding this thing around until I get it as smooth and thin as much as I want it. So it could fit inside the shaft. And let me show you one that I already did, just this one. So I gotta grind it out that much. So guys, this is how you take off this thing right here. I guess this is part of the hub. You just push it off, just like that. So now we're gonna put this one on. So now we're gonna get one of the screws, what we grind down, right there. You see how that drop down in the hole easy? You have to grind the screw down so you can fit. And all you do is just tighten it. It's not going to go anywhere. It's just gonna pull itself nice and snug, you know? All right, so I pull it until it stop, so I don't overdo it. Okay, so now we can put the wheels up. Right, the wheel is fitted there now guys this is the pieces that we're going to put together we have this little washer kind of like a lock washer gonna push that in here and then we're going to push this one like so so guys we get the washers inside the screw so this will be your new nut and you just push this in here like that simple like so all right so now we can just tighten it up it's the same seven millimeter so this is a little modification you have to do to get these green rims to work on your Moxman if you want to put that up. All right. So we're good to go. All right, so we got one more to deal with up front. Okay, guys, so it's time to remove this hex right here. Just going to pry it off. Might be a little bit tight, but take your time. It's going to come off just like that. And there goes the pin. So this is out now. We're gonna put this one in. Remember guys, we grind it down so it can fit. All right, so we have a little screw here that we already grind down. There we go. So you fit pretty snug. And now all we're gonna do is tighten it. 
the last one was not easy to deal with i had to take down the whole carburetor to get in there so pull out the whole shaft because that bearing didn't push in all the way so then the hub on the outside here the screw hole for this to line up wasn't lining up good so what i did i pull along the whole thing and just take a um, vice grip and you know squeeze the bearing back inside and by doing that push the shaft out a little bit more so the grub screw could get to go and screw down in the hole i even grind on this one the the outer shaft of the spacer i end up even grinding it real close so this one was not as simple but you know the last one always give trouble guys so i'm gonna put this back in there and we're good to go sometimes you just have to you know do a little a little more than you expect to and you're gonna get through so just two screws i pull out here very simple to um, put back together just two screws and one at the bottom one on top put up everything ready to put the wheel up very pretty easy so this is how we set it up here put the lock washer on the last up to the nut head and the big washer in front pop this in there like so then we just tighten it down okay that's it guys